Welcome on in, everybody. My name is Jared Haas, and welcome to back to another edition of NASCAR Mailbox. In this week's edition, we're going to answer the questions that happen after the race at Watkins Glen International. And now let's get into it. And this question comes from Ryan Hertzer, 9596. They asked two questions. How far can Byron go in the playoffs and how far can Truex go? Well, I divided this section into pretenders and contenders. And I'm going to start, obviously, first and foremost with Martin Truex Jr. has played the really consistent role ever since Bristol Dirt, quietly getting those top tens in position to get those wins for Truex. Was really well, Mark, New Hampshire, which comparative to the season finale at Phoenix, not a direct correlation, but usually they put out all the stops for the season finale. I'm putting Martin Truex Jr. as a contender. He's going to make the final four. At this rate, with his consistency, he's going to do well. Another person that you asked on this list, William Byron, was relatively quiet uh, up until between his wins at Atlanta and Watkins Glen. But I'm still giving him the contender, I believe, as well, too. He can make it to the round of four. He's been the best Hendrick car out of the group. Kyle Larson had his moments to shine. Chase Elliott and Alex Bowman are still winless this season. So needless to say, William Byron has picked up the uh, torch for Hendrick Motorsports. He's going to be contending for them. I would say he'd make it better than... Larson, there, there is a good shot that William Byron can make it into uh, the championship four. And the other driver that I'm going to look at, Martin Truex Jr.'s teammate, Denny Hamlin, contender versus pretender. I, I'm still putting him as a contender. He's been consistently performing well, top three finishes, and I believe in the last seven races, worst finish of 19th, and you know he's been up there in the top 10. So Hamlin, I think there's still something to prove. He's motivated under this pressure. We saw that compared, not like Kyle Busch, though, last season when, you know, he was trying to deal with Joe Gibbs Racing. A lot was on his mind, got knocked out early. I think Hamlin is thriving under this pressure of trying to figure out where he's going to drive, what 2311 racing is going to do. I think this is going to motivate him just enough to think about what he needs to do in the race and get himself into the championship four as well. And now let's look on the other side of the coin. Let's look at the pretenders and the first driver that I have on my um, watch on being a pretender the franchise 4698 says what's going on with Ross Chastain he seems to lost his mojo and you'd be right his average finish has slipped after the Nashville win his average finish was 13.1 well in those seven races since then it's dropped down to 15.3 Arguably one of the better average finishes to eh, mid-pack to worse in the uh, playoff field, if you consider that. Ross Chastain snuck his way into the championship four with the hail melon of a move, but I don't think he's going to be able to replicate that type of magic in the playoffs again. He's just been treading water, not really making any contention noise, and you know I see Ross Chastain as a pretender. Another driver that I see as a pretender, last year's champion Joey Logano, a lot less points to lean on, not really as dominant. To be fair, he did turn it off in the playoffs last season. Seemed to be a, you know more out of the nowhere. It wasn't like Joey Logano type of season as compared to William Byron Martin Trex Jr., but he doesn't have that strength to get him into the championship board again. So I think Logano is going to be a pretender as well, and... I'm going to have to go with Kevin Harvick as well. The sentimental favorite in his last season racing full-time in the Cup Series before it goes in the TV booth. Stuart Haas Racing is out to lunch. Their Ford stuff is just struggling. None of the cars qualify in the top 25, and, and they best finish a 17th. Harvick, sentimental favorite. Best car is Stuart Haas Racing, but I, I don't see it going too much farther into the playoffs for Harvick. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like and subscribe. Our content really helps us out. Be sure to tune in next week as we recap the questions after the regular season finale race at Daytona International Speedway. As always, make sure to have a great race weekend. This is Austin Dillon, driver of the Bass Pro Shop Chevrolet. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also check out one of those two videos beside me. Visit frontstretch.com for more racing content.